Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to create uh, random numbers uh, distributed normally in MATLAB. So it's a very simple command. I'm just going to type it in here for you and then kind of walk you through it. The first thing that you need to do is specify the name of the variable and I'm going to call it really a vector. Uh, if, if you work in SPSS or R or Stata, you might be more used to just everything being called a variable. Um, in MATLAB, starting out as a matrix language, there's this recognition that obviously there is a difference between matrices and vectors. So that's just something to know about, you know, the terminology. It, it doesn't really affect anything if you're doing statistical analysis. So the first thing you need to do is give a name to the variable or the vector. I'm just going to call it n. Uh, equal sign uh, norm rnd is the command. Now within parentheses the first number here is the mean that I want to generate. The second is the standard deviation and within these other parentheses one basically is telling MATLAB that it's a vector meaning there's just one column. So if this if this were more than one column then I'd, I'd be having a matrix and 100 is just telling me the number of observations that I want to create. I press enter and there we are. We now have our hundred uh, randomly generated numbers. They fit the distribution that we specified with a mean of a hundred and a standard deviation of 15. If you want to check them we can go ahead and do hist fit uh, parentheses n which is the name of the variable we created and what that'll do in MATLAB is it will create momentarily a histogram here. So you can see that the histogram looks pretty Gaussian. Uh, not perfectly so because we've only generated a hundred numbers and there's some noise. If you went back and let's say if you altered this here to 10,000 or something like that, then it would look like super Gaussian. It would look very, very much like the textbook normal distribution. So this comes in handy for basically any scenario in which you're working with mock data and you want to create a normal distribution. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.